Hello everyone, welcome back. And we are on our way to the Saren things. There it is. Because I don't believe I've done this one yet. Obviously, because it's not marked on my map. That looks intimidating. I know what it is. That's the spinning temple thing I was in, right? But it looks like a really angry thundercloud. That looks like a lot of climbing. What do we got? Shadow of Neve? Well, let's go grab this first. Just gonna take this then. But where? Where do we want it? Over there? Oh, there's a launcher. Oh, because it's down there. Okay, I see. I didn't see you. Come here. <laughs> I thought I just hit the ceiling instead. Been really cool if it just landed in that. Alright, there's that one. What are we missing? This one. What's this do? Just another launcher? Because you're stuck down there now, aren't you? I need this one. I want to drop you over here. I want you to launch a thing for me. Okay, launch me. Bonk. Yep, that's what I needed. Next! I need you back. I know. What you got? Hi, Saren. I say hello to Saren. You have unread messages. Recording five. I find myself tapping my foot in anticipation as I start up the workstation. At long range, communication are still being disrupted by the perpetual. Officer Ellis wishes to return her attention to shielding the reactors from its interference. Permission? Granted. Saren, I want you to stick with the comms array and see if you can't squeeze something out without being bounced back. Yes, Captain. Well, we might as well get the terraformers up and running then, right? Deacon, if you don't shut up about the terraformers. He lets it hang in the air, but goes on before he can finish what I can only assume would be a very pointed threat. If you hadn't been running your mouth, we'd still be in orbit negotiating a landing with this godforsaken planet. We can't even breathe the air out there and all the more reason to start terraforming now. What is your point, Captain? Deacon, listen to me. We can't. That landing was hell on those things. The rad shielding is beyond repair right now. If we run these things, they'll pump radiation into the atmosphere for a hundred years. That's Earth years. It's not an option for us, Deacon. Then maybe we don't do it for us. No unread messages. Self-sacrifice, huh? I'm thinking the next one is our last one, right? We're just missing one more? So I'm going to teleport there, and I will see you once I arrive. Is it not the giant spinning tower? It's a different one? Oh, it's not a platform to climb on at all. Oh, hello! Thing of nightmares? Hello? What are you? You have a merchant mask on. A Cohen merchant. Do you just not talk? Can you tell me about this camp? They don't seem interested in answering my questions. The silence is intense and uncomfortable. I came here years ago. The plateau. It calls to be studied. Their voice is slow but deliberate and thoughtful. Crystal plateau. Oh, they look so cool! Oh, I don't like it breathing in my ear, though. I see you, Crystals. I feel like this place needs, like, a throat-singing soundtrack playing. It seems so ominous. 
Do we get to experience Sable's first death sequence? Immune to fall damage, but not to lightning. Just gonna come and grab this right quick. Please and thank you. Easy. Meh, let's go ahead and turn it in and see what we get. Sorry, nods. Get those crystals yet? I did. So, what do you think? I think you deserve a badge. Hands me a machinist badge. <laughs> That's what I get from it. Here you go, here's a sticker, kid. Good job. I thank her and ask what she intends to do with the crystals. You'll like this. I'm building bike parts. And I'm happy to offer them up to trade if you got a mind to make something big, fast, and electric. Yes, please. You'd have to slap it together yourself, but that's how you bond with a bike, right? Putting it together piece by piece. I tell Zara I'll be sure to come to the machinist next I need such things, and we say goodbye. I need such things. What you got? <gasps> oh! Hello! I will accept- Ooh! Oh, there we go. That's about right. I accept this. I like my lightning bike. I really like my lightning bike. Sure hope there's no small creatures near me. I like the thought of as I'm gliding around like this on my bike, all the little electric shots are just me electrifying all the fish underneath me at this time. Just leaving dead fish in my wake. Or little speckles of glass everywhere I go. As we shock the sand around us. Where are we now? Oh! Don't know what to think about that. I was talking about dead fish in my wake. I didn't mean huge ones. Oh, there's so much to explore in this game. I'm trying to stay on track, but oh, it's hard. Oh. Legals. Thump thumps right here. Center of Brunswick. Alright, Center of Brunswick, what you got for me? Yoink. Hello, power source. Oh, there's a lot of you. Okay. You are you. I need you over here. Simple enough. Right? Yeah. And you go up to there. You need a turn. Point. Easy enough. Because then you can hop back. Easy. And we'll actually we need you turning. Right? So you need to jump across. Let's see. Let's find out. Oh, and there's a worm here? Is it in the room above me? Okay, is that just the entrance or is this the easiest one yet? Hi, Saren! Okay, it's the easiest one yet. I say hello to Saren. Sable, your security clearance has been updated. Please proceed to the whale to authenticate. Okay, so the security clearance, does that mean it unlocked my bike? Is that all that I needed? Did we get them all? Number six. Alright, is this the last one or do we get one more once we get to the whale? The text on screen remains a mystery, but this time I barely look at it. If it's lost to me, then so be it. I want to hear more. This time, Captain Singh sounds different. Older? Up and running for 15 local years. I think that's about 20 in Earth's time. Radiation levels are approaching critical and only rising. Between that and lack of breathable air, even our children's children will need protective gear to do so much as walk between ships. Deacon finally gave up the ghost last week. Age, nothing more. Just time. We've been lucky that way, I, I think. Guy never gave up on a corporate rescue mission. I'll give him that. It's 
stupid. Even if they were floating around up there, they have no way of getting down here. At least as far as we know. That stuff in the atmosphere, who knows? <sighs> Sarah, I'll be shutting down your primary functions in order to preserve power. You'll be booted up once every few years to try and send some long-range comps. But that's the job I leave to future generations. But this way, you'll have enough power to sustain yourself for a few hundred spins around the star. Maybe more if anybody can figure you out. There's a break, and I think it's over, but... I'm sorry things ended up this way. I had hoped better for us than to be stranded on the planet that wants to kill us, but won't let us leave. Maybe you'll be able to make better sense of this one day, but if anyone asks in whatever century, tell them I tried my best. Now, I need to go take care of my people. For what it's worth, sir, I quite like the mess. Sing laughs, and it's sad, but sweet. Thank you, Saren. Thank you for being here. Goodbye. The recording shuts off abruptly, leaving me wondering. I take a minute to collect my thoughts, and then I say goodbye too. Goodbye. Interesting. So they're what made our planet all desolate and dead as it was? And that's why we have the masks now, because it was necessary before to leave, because of all the radiation. And then just started to become a culture thing, right? I mean, is that what I'm picking up? Let's just head back to the whale, let's get that done. Let's wrap this one up. Hey, there we go. Hello, Saren. It's my birthday, can I have a bike? I say hello to Saren. You've recovered data from all six ships on this planet. Thank you, Sable. I'm beginning to understand. Saren trails off, an edge of doubt betraying their otherwise emotionless figure. You now have full clearance, Sable, granting you complete access to the whale facility and giving me a bike. The bike in the chamber looks shiny and new despite being ancient. I ask Saren if it's really for me. Yes, Sable, there's nothing stopping me from granting you full access to my facilities. Please avail yourself of this transport device. Oh, I tell Saren that I will use it to come visit as often as I can. I say farewell to Saren. Oh, Saren. Bye. Hello. Oh, I can just pick up the pieces. That's cool. Let's see how good it is. I know you just made me a new bike, but I think I might have found something better. Can you do that instead? Oh, max speed. Oh, we are in trouble, though. Yes, please. Oh, this should not be in my hands. Yeah, this should not be allowed to be given to me. How fast? Nope, I like this one too much. It just feels so smooth. And I could do that and not just like go flying off into the sky. And it sounds cool, listen to that! That's fun. Oh! Next video, we're gonna tackle that thing. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you soon! Bye!